I was in the mood for a chicken sandwich. We did one not too long ago. There's something magical about a chicken sandwich. The simplicity, it's kind of a blank canvas. You can take it anywhere you want. Today, we are taking it to Pineapple Chipotle Glaze Flavor Town. It's too easy not to try this one. I say that a lot. I feel like everything I do is easy. It's this is simple. This one is unbelievable. Let me show you how to do it. We're gonna start with our glaze. Now this is not difficult. We could start with our chicken, but I'm doing cutlets because I want it to be very, very quick and easy. Uh, so this is gonna take the longest. We're gonna start with some fresh pineapple. All of that goes into a food processor. Uh, you can cut up your own. I just think this one looks really nice. And chipotles. Chipotle's in adobo. I want the pepper and that beautiful juice. I want the juice, CJ. Uh, we're gonna throw in a few cloves of garlic, some lime juice, cilantro. Essentially what we're doing is we're creating a base of flavor that is unbelievable. I also wanna add a touch of sweetness uh, to kind of amplify the pineapple. Good old Bruce Mitchell's honey. We got that from Louisiana, I'm pretty proud of it. Pretty proud of it. A little bit of salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. Uh, blend this extremely smooth. Now this could serve as both a marinade uh, as a sauce, I guess all three, a sauce or a glaze. Uh, use it however you want to. It'll, it'll hold for about a week as well, uh, but it's fantastic. Very, very simple. Dump, stir, mix, you've got gold. Uh, now let's move on to our chicken. This is really, really simple. I, I mentioned it a second ago, we're doing cutlets because I do want them to cook quick, but if you're using something else like a breast, just cut it thinner. You don't want a massive amount of chicken uh, to bun ratio. We'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, blackstone salt, pepper, garlic, uh, olive oil, griddle, high heat. That's it. Uh, I'm going to take the chicken to like 90% done. We want that crust. We want that beautiful, uh, gorgeous Maillard reaction on the top. Uh, it's going to give us texture and flavor. Now we're going to take a brush and some of that stunning, stunning glaze over the top. Look at this. I mean, I get excited just seeing that shiny, glistening, deep goodness. Look at it over the top and feel free to flip multiple times. Now there is some sugar in this, both from the honey and the pineapple. So you want your chicken to be almost done before you do this part because you don't want it to burn. Uh, so give it a few flips, give it a few glazes. Uh, we're gonna toast our bun today. I'm using Martin's potato rolls, just a bit of oil. Make sure you don't put it in any of that leftover glaze because it will get sticky and burnt. Uh, so toast the buns. Now it's time to build. I go simple with the chicken sandwich. Uh, that, that pineapple chipotle glaze is the star of the show here. Uh, so lettuce, tomato, onion. I mean, it's pretty much that easy. If you want to add a sauce, you can. You don't need it. There's so much flavor in this chicken. And I don't know how to describe perfection other than look at that. Smoky chipotle sweet pineapple. Bruce Mitchell's honey. Don't forget. Don't forget Like it. there's some magic. There's some magic going on here. Hey, I don't want to talk why too much. You not just cut the chicken in half? Yeah. Instead of having giant pieces of chicken sticking off the side. Why are you trying to make fun of me? Actually, Ethan, come here. Well, to his point, this one is perfect. This one's perfect. This one, you know, it's got a little extra. It's well, just a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, enough enough talking. Yep. Time to prep for eating. All right, dude, how hot is it? Perfect. That, that looked like it was going to be steamy with that amount of adobo. It's Chipotle. If you weren't ready for heat, get out of the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely got some heat. It's not insane. Okay, it's manageable heat? It's not insane. Oh man, it's so good though. If you wanted, if you were speaking of heat, I want more. That's how I roll. I want more. Danger will Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to do one more little brush. Look at that. Oh, come on now. It's so pretty. You know, you could, if you wanted to, use this as a marinade. This would be amazing with shrimp. Marinate some shrimp in there. I want that little extra. Let me get this bite because I think this is this is the bite I've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Time after all this time. That's the one. Mhm. Mm Here's the thing. Simple, easy, little delicious, yellow, <laughs> different, <laughs> different. Uh, simple technique, right? Everything that went into that glaze is interchangeable. Use different fruits. Uh, add anything else you want. You can go a million different directions, but having a glaze on a basic piece of chicken takes the chicken to extraordinary territory, which I'm a big fan of. This, super fun. Again, you can marinate in that, use it as a glaze, uh, use it a million different ways. So, so good. That's all I got, man. Hang on. Heat's coming. Heat's, catching up. Heat's coming now. 
Uh, don't order a Chipotle pineapple Chipotle chicken sandwich if you don't want some heat. That's it. That's all I got. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button down below. Uh, click the bell icon as well so you get a notification. Uh, go to griddlenation.com for some fun Blackstone swag. Watch all the other shows on the network. Leave us a comment. Share it. Tell your friends to check out this awesome, fun show that's a little bit better than CJ's first cooking show. Not a lot better. Not eat. A little bit better. A little bit more elevated. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippi, and I'll see you all in the next video.